Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in TLE7 which is all about products and byproducts of poultry and livestock production. This will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number 15 and 16. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to first is to identify the primary products derived from poultry and livestock production. The second one is to demonstrate the ability to properly handle and store poultry and livestock products and byproducts. And the third one is to appreciate the importance of sustainable and ethical practices in poultry and livestock stock production by accomplishing the weekly reflection log. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will answer or will accomplish the graphic organizer on the products and the byproducts of poultry and livestock production and farm waste practices. In establishing purpose of the lesson, in unlocking of content vocabulary, the students will answer the match type activity. <music> Livestock raising provides a wide array of benefits. While it is true that it provides a source of employment of the community members, it also provides a wide array of goods and services. These goods and services are intended for human consumption. This includes the traction, milk, eggs, fiber, wool, leather, feathers, and pharmaceuticals. Traction, it is where farm animals such as cattle can serve as draft animals to draw farm implements, agricultural supplies, and products. Dairy products are derived from livestock that produces milk such as cattle and goat. It can be processed to produce cheese, ice cream, butter, and yogurt. Eggs and meat are excellent sources of protein and other nutrients. Clothing can be made from animal skin and feather. Cattle skin can be made into leather. Goat fur can turn into wool and chicken feather serves as clothing accessories. Pharmaceutical products are derived from skin, bones, horn, and shoes of slaughter livestock. Animal byproducts are materials derived from animals which are not intended for human consumption. This includes the slaughterhouse waste or byproducts derived when livestock are butchered in the slaughterhouse. Slaughtering leaves skin, bones, horn, hooves, blood, fat, and offal or internal organs. Another byproduct of poultry and livestock production is the catering waste. These are materials used in entire livestock production. It includes food waste, plastics, and packaging of the feeds, glass bottles of medicines, boxes, and cardboards. Another byproduct of poultry and livestock production is the fallen stock. These are animals or farm animals died due to natural causes, diseases, or killed prior to harvest. Another byproduct of poultry and livestock production is the materials. These are produced by animals such as manure, eggshells, feather, wool, and fiber. 
Another byproduct of poultry and livestock production is the former foodstuff of animal origin. These are products that are no longer suitable for human consumption, such as milk, eggs, and meat. In making of generalization for the learner's takeaways, the students will answer the key WL chart. So this time, they will accomplish the key WL and S section. For the reflection of learning, the students will accomplish the weekly reflection log. In evaluating the learning of the students, the students will answer the multiple choice questions.